Hey everybody, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Garen for an entire three hour period of time, roughly, for a Garen movie. We're playing against an Orin and top lane for game one. Uh, looks like they went Riven mid. Honestly, I thought it might be Riven top, but, and the Orin mid, but, hey, we take these. So, against Orin, I think I'm just going to start E. He does a lot of damage to all one if you're able to take an extended trade against somebody without just getting completely clapped. So, against Orn, super good. The longer I can stick onto the Orn with this, uh, the more I can just cleave any armor he does have and uh, get a big trade. I thought about flashing on him with Ignite, but it's pretty, I don't know, it's pretty close to killing him. I'm gonna go ward for the Cossacks. Oh wow! Hey, Cossacks might be topside. Forge onward. Let's see. He probably wants blue Gromp into bot side. We'll see. I want this wave to shove a little bit. So I know I could take a, a good trade with uh, the Orin right there. But if I wait for the wave to shove a little bit, then I can get the wave in a, a better position. So I can thin out the wave now. Take that small little trade with Garen and still, or with the Orin and still have the wave in a good position. You want the wave shoving into you uh, when you're playing against tanks. Otherwise, they just farm for free under turret, and you allow them to scale. And you don't want that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try to hit level four. Oh. Okay. Well, I was gonna flash with the uh, the orange W, but yeah, or with the orange E. I didn't even think about my poppy just uh, absolutely wrecking it with that W. Oh my gosh. So Poppy Flash Debbie the same time as I like to flash. Hey, we take those. Orn does have TP. We are the Vanguard. Yeah, we're gonna have to use our passive. So we have D Shield. We have our passive. We're gonna get a quite a bit of healing. When we get our ulti, we're gonna be useful against tanks again. Until we get ult. Maybe not as useful. Oh my gosh. Just clearing the uh just clearing the ward spooked the uh the orn. Poppy's playing a good bit of pressure here. Yeah, I think we just hold the wave right here. Fear not. I don't plan on holding this forever. I I do need a reset, so legitimately I could just let this crash. And then we can still push the orn back in. Yeah, I think that's a game plan. My poppy said he hates Orn. My poppy won this Orn to just die this game. Okay, well my plan was to uh, set the slow push to go all in, but uh, you know what? If our poppy's gonna be so nice and just uh, gink us a few times. Hey, we take those. Alright, it's post five minutes. We could go for a plate here. Here's the thing if we go for this plate, with the death timers being so low, uh, we legitimately wouldn't be able to get back to lane in time. Or, sorry, we wouldn't be able to back in time before Orange back in lane and we could potentially stop our back. So, yeah, there is that. Actually, Orn is uh, taking his time getting back to lane, it seems. We actually could have. Maybe he's waiting for an item. Yeah, he's waiting for another river crystal. He died pretty early after he TP'd back. Poppy just came in and bullied him. Kha'Zix invading the Poppy to look to punish. Close to six. Mostly down with just uh, walking him and fighting him. It doesn't matter if I'm fighting on all these minions because I get so much damage reduction from my W. I could literally just tank him in the middle of all those minions, and it's completely fine. Wave's still pushing back to us since we didn't clear the minions completely. 
we fight for those who We're pretty close to having Ignite back. When we get our Ignite, we can look for a kill. Maybe if we dodge his Q? Ah, yeah. Maybe he could have gone away without ulting there, just because he's in a bad spot. But you know what? If he ulties and Ws, I don't want to get... You know, I've seen too many clips of the, the full Orn combo. Where you can kill somebody from basically like 70 to 0. Oh, that happened to me. Okay, let me take one plate and then I'll reset. So I'm going to auto this three times and Q. That should be enough. As long as it damage to turret within the last eight seconds, even if the minions end up finishing it off and I'm like way over here, I will still get the gold. So I'm going to go Trinity. In the king's name. Trinity is a freaking amazing item in Garen. Gives you all the stats you can ever want. Health, attack damage, attack speed because attack speed scales with your spin. And the Spellblade proc is insane. It does tons of damage with your Q. Oh, nice. It's like uh, Botlane's doing pretty well. Alright, doing well across the board. Let's see if uh, we can't just uh, punish the orange somewhere. I get the move speed increase. Use my W right before his W lands. Oh my god, he missed. Oh no! Wait! Orin's bad day continues. My poppy did a full clear up the top and was just sitting in the bush. She was like almost about to shim on his back and then uh, Orin decided to go in. I, I went in aggressive knowing that my poppy was close. This world needs hope. Okay, I guess I just take a plate. Um, my poppy got grubs too. Uh, general diff. So yeah, I could have got Pearl Spine Axe. Pearl Spine Axe is 20 attack damage, 25% attack speed. Really good stats for a Garn. This Orin has missed so many waves on her turret. It's so sad. So they got the Smolder casted in bot lane. That's got to be the highest scaling bot lane I've ever heard of. Oh my gosh. Infinite scaling Smolder with Kassin potentially reaching all 16. So... Casted in using the the new support item to just deal a ton of poke damage to the Q. Seems pretty good. Basically, you know, like any champion that can make use of that item is pretty darn good. So casting definitely uh, weak early. This. I think I'm gonna shove and then we're gonna proxy and then we're gonna look to kill Kha'Zix in his jungle. I think this guy from now on, he's not gonna walk up, he's just gonna sit back, press Q, and just soak waves. So we can shove in, look to like auto Q turret. We do have uh. We have uh, grubs. I mean, he took a lot of damage there. I don't know, man. Oh no, and he flashed. What a tragedy. I was scared of walking up here and then the Cossacks is there. Mm, looks like Cassian hit all six, hit a spike. Okay, we've got our Trinity Force. I'm just back for that. Actually, I do want to help uh, my Poppy uh, with these grubs. See, maybe the Orn walks in here. Nice, we're able to space that out. There we 
Yes, yeah, sir. Orn's a fighter, I'll say that much. Alright, let's go in here. Pretty sure my spin can hit all three of these. Oh man, look at that. Yo, maybe Garen Jungle's broken. Back in the bush for real. Oh my gosh, he actually was. He is, uh, he's pretty low. Our must never I will not oh my gosh, that was a weird animation. Poppy was invading his jungle after Grubs. Man, I'm getting, I'm getting the, the treatment in this game. Yeah, I haven't had to worry about this Kha'Zix at all. I guess he doesn't like... My Poppy hates a Warren, and I guess, uh... I guess his jungler does too. <laughs> I mean, we got six scrubs, so, I mean, I'm just sitting here. If I W Orm's combo, like his uh, W, there's no damage. I'm just gonna walk away. I got Trinity Force in base. I'm gonna go grab that real quick, reset, and I think we just start pushing down uh, top lane even more. Is he looking for me? Yeah, he might just find me. Let's grab, let's grab Black Cleaver. So, for some matchups as Garen, you could just go into, like, Stridebreaker. Say a Foss against a Riven. Might be pretty good. But, uh, against a Warren, I went with Black Cleaver just for the armor shred. My E already shreds armor, but then you can just shred more armor. You know what I mean? <clears throat> In the King's name. The Ruin's got pretty good CS. Might be a force to be reckoned with, although we do have Poppy. Soloing Herald takes way too long because Herald makes you take 50% or deal 50% less damage to Herald uh, when you're solo tanking them. So the person who deals more damage should be tanking Herald, the other person be dealing damage. Like if you're dueling it. Same with Baron. But yeah, I, it's not even worth my time to solo this. I mean, maybe after I ship this wave out and wait for him to ship back in. Might be a good time to do it. I have both sums. I don't have ult. So if Riven comes uh, after me with Ignite, might be a little bit rough. Yeah, let's do this. I use the ghosting effect on my spin uh, to avoid the uh, the uh, the hit from Rift Herald. Oh my gosh, we literally can't do it. Like, it literally takes so long. The Warren walked up and shoved two ways. <laughs> We've been just AFK for like a full minute. Yeah, this is not worth it. I tried. <clears throat> Either he had a ward on it, or he just suspected because I was settling for so long. 
Either way, I'm just gonna go back and grab Cleaver. Maybe I go Stridebreaker now. You know, he's just walking in me. I just have to. Well, I wanted the Kha'Zix yell, but he just walked away, so... I'm gonna want to heal him for my Conqueror. So let's grab this, and we're gonna stride. So, I'll grab, uh, you know, I'll grab Phage first. Just so I can grab a dagger as well. Team out's pretty nice on Garen, because you can use Team out while you're spinning for bonus damage. <coughs> Never forget. I'm coming for this uh, dragon. I've killed this Orn eight times, so I want to kill something else. And that you, you guy just walked right into me. I'm, I'm literally behind like I have no minions they weren't close yeah I'm just farming behind their turrets Garen if you're ahead is just so broken wait was did I miss that penta oh my gosh I even noticed I guess it was like a delayed penta oh, Raven hit the Sandra with the combo Sandra had an ult and flash. Sandra still has a stopwatch too, though. Right. Let's go kill anyone who's top lane. Oh, hey, this render. Well, there you go. First game done. With Garen, you guys are about to see a lot more Garen on this movie. Hope you guys enjoy it. Onwards to the next one. Hey everybody, we're back with game two. And this time, I believe we're up against a Nidalee top. Which, um, sounds pretty annoying with the, uh, the kite she's able to do. I'm gonna have to ward the bush. That way my minions will follow her. And then I gotta sit back here. She probably has W level 1 as well. That would, yeah, I think I heard a trap. So she's going to have to hop. There's like no way we can uh, get on her for the moment. So we're going to have to take a little bit of beating. But we do have Doran Shield. We have Second Wind. And uh, Nidalee top damage is a little suspect early on. It scales up with her uh, when she gets ulti levels. Haven't leveled my Q or my E yet. I might even level up W. It just depends. Let's land this ship in. We'll see how this goes. Here, let me just uh, spin on this wave. Uh, looks like Zach's going for a level 3 top. Okay, well, that died real quick. <laughs> Kuzak with the, uh, the OP gank. Uh, Nidalee only got 8 CS, by the way. Um, yeah. Alright. 
So nearly at ATS, but was just poking me a ton. But then she just got insta-ganked into death. So that was a pretty standard uh, jungle path either. It wasn't anything crazy. Pretty much every jungler level 3 ganks nowadays. I mean, maybe Maokai doesn't. He kind of has to full clear. We'll see. I've got the wave in a decent spot, but... I kind of want to reset for Zerks. Once I get this wave in, I should have enough. I could also go like Swifties this game, too. Just a stick. They do have uh, a couple slows with the game playing with the Maokai as well. She gonna freeze, I wonder. Okay. Fight for those gonna wear this. I was waiting for my war to come up before I walked up. I'm so sad I'm missing that, uh, that cannon minion. Oh, hey, I got the freeze broken. Okay, I guess Nidalee couldn't tank that many minions. And I've got my Zerkers, but yeah, we missed cannon. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think I just grabbed Zerkers here. Uh, looks like they swapped. King Plink and Terra. Forge onward. Okay. It's like a potential bit gank here coming from uh, from Kuzak. Oh, almost got first plate down bottom. I think I go Stride Breaker first this game rather than going. So the last couple of games, uh, or last game, I've been going Trinity Force. But I think against Nidalee, I think the Stride Breaker might be necessary. An ally has been we'll see. Let's act some grubs right now. I might just clear this out. What's nice about Garen's E is it gives a little bit of a ghosting effect. So you can walk through minions. And they might not be able to. It's like doing something like this is possible. Um, damn, I didn't want to give up my freeze. I want to chunk her and freeze it so that the Zack could come since I saw him on the top side. Okay, TP from Nidalee. <laughs> Not too bad. An ally has been slain. She gonna freeze it? Nope. She's holding it as is. Yeah, I think I was tried. So I'm just gonna get um, longsword and dagger here. Optimize my damage. Never forget why we fight. So Guren spin skills with uh, attack speed and attack damage. So. The spies grip making me really strong. Oh, my guy with phase rush just run Kuzak down. I stand ready. Uh, I kind of wasted my ignite earlier. Trying to set up a kill. The Nidalee should be playing out of the bush, because if she autos out of the bush, she gains movement speed. So, like, if you play Nidalee top, you should be playing towards the bush. I think it's, like, 10% move speed every time you enter a bush for two seconds. Makes her able to hike. But, yeah, if she walks up like this, and I think I just beat her. Yeah, I think I just kill her. She has to use the bush to cut me. And that's how, like, that's you properly play Nidalee top. This guy's doing it wrong. Like, Nidalee top can be an extremely abusive matchup, especially against a champ like Garen. Um, but if you're not even using your, your kit correctly, um, then you're just useless to Nidalee top. Ah, 
going to reset. Let's see. Let's get Phage. It's going to give us a little extra move speed on auto attack. So when we Q, we're getting the move speed going into our E. So we can stick on the new blade the whole time. You know, I still could go Trinity Force, actually. Now that I think about it, if the Nidalee's going to play like that and not use the bush, I think I just want more damage. And Trinity Force is definitely more damage. So, I might come to regret it, but we might just go, might just go Trinity. This guy has no idea how to kite. <laughs> He's, just... <laughs> He's, doing... <laughs> He's doing zero damage. I can be one thing. It feels like cutting me in and out of the bush. But he's not playing with the bush. Oh my gosh. So he rushed Hearthbound Axe. What's even... Is that is he building a training force? Is it AD nearly? It's not even AP. I guess he's got grasp. Alright, let's see this. What does she do about this? I bring justice. Okay, I don't, don't even have to ignite her because she's not even walking away. She's just taking it. Yeah, honestly, do I have any reason to not just continuously farm minor turret? Like, this is, uh, this is actually nuts. Got the little void mines coming in. It's just this uh, beat down. I don't know if this Nidalee is just playing tilted or what, and that's why she's not even bothering to try it, but... But yeah, rough, rough going for the Nidalee right now. I mean, I don't even think I have to worry about the Maokai. Vile Scourge! Yeah, this might be uh this might be a fast game for the enemy team. I mean Nidalee I guess could walk all the way around, but then I just kill her turret because it's pretty low. Got my pop gold. Chorus wave. I need to make sure I'm here when this turret dies. I'm going to den uh, deny as many minions as possible. I mean, it's just, just rough for Nidalee. Your team has destroyed a turret. Never waver. She's in a pretty tough spot. I've got 3k gold to spend. So I'm going to show this next wave and then spend it. I will not falter! <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I killed both of them. Okay, that's that's a tragic ending to that. So, they were trying to kill me before I bought my items. This guy has Sunfire Cape? I mean, I guess he's level 7 because he's playing Maokai Jungle. But, oh uh, my god. Okay, wait. That's about Hole Breaker? In the king's name. Yeah, so they changed Hole Breaker to be like an on-hit effect. But, um... I mean... 
how can Nidalee kill a empowered siege minion? I just don't see it happening. Like, 80 Nidalee is just, I mean, it's doing negative damage. Like, I got Trinity Force, I guess go Hullbreaker here. Usually I would do, like, Stridebreaker or maybe even Dead Man's to stick on the rest of them, but... Yeah, I mean, AD Nidalee can't really go mid. Yeah, I guess she really can't stay top either. Yeah, they should send the gang clan first win. I think it's time for them to swap. Give me the next challenger. It's like Gangplank's having a little bit of a rough time, too. Maligma Malzar. No way that hit me. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. I'm gonna use both my refill pots. Okay, yeah, so are they gonna send AD Nidalee mid or? I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking the turret pretty fast even without Hole Breaker. But yeah, every fifth attack deals a bonus 600 damage against structures. Wait, does this not have a cooldown? Okay, that's kind of broken that there was no cooldown. Um, yeah, I'm gonna build Stride next. Oh, wait, Gangplank wasn't just holding fire, he was just holding until Nidalee got back. Okay. Well, that's fine with me. Uh, I'm down to just grab this Rift Herald and run down top. It would be cool if uh, I'm Garen. If you manually cancel Garen's spin, just like you did with Jax's E, could provide another Trinity Force proc. That'd be a nice little change. But if they ever need to buff Garen's win rate by like 0.1%. Because Jax is a pretty old champion, he's designed like that. Okay, so there are Lucian's missing. I'm not sure where he's at. Okay, he's back bottom. Top. We fight for those who cannot. Forward. Okay, it looks like they're sending the Lucian. I don't have any. I don't have any armor. The Lucian's got four kills as well. Let's see. I mean, only way I kill Lucian without an ult is if he walks in my bush. Okay. Let's see. Does Lucian come back top for me, or... We're about to find out. Okay, he's back top. I mean, I've got, I've got a good bit of time with this Rift Herald. I can also just go buy it with it. Since we have six grubs, so, I mean... I don't think Malzar autoed that turret but once, and that's like a, a quarter of the turret gone. I mean, I could just play patiently and just wait for um, the Lucian to finally not be topside. Cause right now they keep sending two people against me like we got dragon coming up or that we can pressure for i just play 
pretty safe on the oh, split. Just keep three. pressuring. Okay, yeah, it looks like they might make a move towards fighting here. <laughs> so I think now is the perfect time to go ahead and uh, pressure. Okay, yeah. Like, I, I haven't built really any defense. Nilly just doesn't build damage. The Lucian might be heading up towards me. He has no ult. Okay. But I got there and hit down. I'm just gonna reset and go bottom. Okay, I've got, uh... Let's see, do I have enough for Stridebreaker? Nice. Perfect gold. It's like we're getting the dragon as well. I could just start taking stuff bottom. Now, I don't know... I know a little bit about AD Nidalee. I don't know. Like, can AD Nidalee with... Oh, no way owed AD Nidalee clear super minions in 19 minutes. Probably not. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a real rough time up there. Top lane. Let me move my stride breaker to my one key. Get a hole breaker proc. I'm just melting turrets. Okay, they surrendered. <laughs> Alright, well, that's, that's a good way to end off game two. Um, Yeah, top gap. GG's. I'll see you in the next one. Alright, guys, we're back at it with game three. And, oh, my God, uh, first blood has happened. And... Yeah, I have no idea. I was uh, getting ready to start up the video, and apparently got first blood. But we got a kill back on our Syndra, so we're still in a decent spot. If uh, Scion's coming up here, I might just like to cheat them. Or I could just get all three minions. Just kidding, we just got two. Is he not walking up? Oh, he really walked all the way around. Okay, well, he's missed the first three minions of the lane. Is he just dead? Okay. Well, his bone plating came back up. He just queued the wave, so he literally just froze it on himself. Now, I considered flashing on him, but I don't know. I feel like he's just gonna walk up at me, anyways. I want to make sure I hold the wave position uh, while I trade with them. That way I'm not like shoving in too hard. Because I kind of want to punish this guy as hard as possible. He literally has one CS. Keep the wave like right in the center. An ally has been slain. Yeah, I'm basically just going to punish him for not backing after that invade or whatever it was. Looks like they're invading pretty hard. Wait until the shield pops. I want to be patient. I didn't pay attention to the invade to know whether he has flash or not. If he doesn't have flash, is what it is. Yeah, he's gonna have to Q and E for every single one of these minions. He pop a shield. Got his bone plating. You see how I'm like walking up like this. I'm walking up beside my minion wave, that way he has to choose, like, going for the minions or going for me. So, it's gonna deny more minions in the long run, too. I should hit the melee. Got my conquer up. Oh, no, I did. But I did. He's pretty close to dead. 
Have my Debbie back up soon. Never forget why we fight. Can we always tend to see us? He's been doing his best to like trade with me. That's basically it. he's out of mana. I believe he's already TP'd. I've got my passive regen hitting me pretty hard. And even when he hits me, I have second wind enduring shield. So either way, I'm getting a bunch of healing back. I've got tons of regen for this lane. Let's see, they got grubs. I'm almost all six. Nice. Got exact damage on that one. Just gonna clear some of these minions to this passive. Honestly, I hope he keeps hitting the wave so that pushes back into me. He has double long sword. He zoned me off the cannon. Wait, he's just shoving the wave. Oh my god. What a griefer. Okay, so that wave was actually perfect for Scion. And it, it was it stayed shoving into him. But Nocturne just walked up and just let the wave frozen into me. If I was Scion, I would be absolutely livid. That is a terrible uh, position for this lane. So Nocturne should have walked up like look to kill me but like not script the wave and then he could have like kept it frozen i mean he's just out he's he's very tanky did i have a lot of minions here though Got the wave in a really good spot. I don't have ult to work my so actual possibility of killing the scion I'm pretty low. Nah, he just went mid. Is that gonna be is that king actually gonna work? Okay, gonna pull this back. Who's that kidding me up with a few ganks there? But yeah, 20 CS sign is uh, no good. If you're playing sign, you want a lot of CS because every CS you get literally grants you permanent max HP. And that's why sign gets so tanky. Because he, you know, usually he just dies, you know, clears waves and then permanently stacks his HP. The scoundrel. But uh, yeah, if we keep denying him CS like this, he'll never really scale like he should. And right now we've got more, almost triple of CS at this point. Again, walk on the side. I see Nocturne mid. Nice. I was I was kind of worried his shield would come back up, and that he had lived that play. Oh damn, this cannon! So it was really good that I killed the sign really far away from lane, because the when I kill him away from his, uh, his you know my wave, then he won't be able to get any minions back to this passive, so we can continuously just deny him. Uh, Conqueror's Garen is honestly making a comeback. Usually you would go Phase Rush on Garen in previous seasons. But... Honestly, Conqueror and Garen is pretty freaking good. And even in high-low, I see it. Like, quite a bit. Obviously, in, you know, I main trend. And into trend merits pretty troll. 
but until their matchups not so much. So like me against Scion is like absolutely gonna brutalize them. And because I stack Conquer so quickly, it's just so good. If he goes to stop my back, is what it is. Alright, let's go Trinity. So, do this, and hey, we'll grab Sheen. I have good gold for it. It's either Sheen or I go Longsword and Dagger. I think Sheen might be slightly stronger. 99 physical damage. So I can get two Spellblade procs on a single trade. I can Q and E and then W towards the end of the trade for another Spellblade proc. Alright, I'm gonna walk over towards the grubs. Make sure they're not taking them. Never forget Put my ward down. Oh wow, nice. I need to run away. Unstoppable. An enemy has been slain. Rampage. So I used my spin right before I got feared. That way if the Nocturne kept chasing me, then he'd be chasing me with my spin up. So basically, like when he fears me, he's like basically hoping like I'm not gonna be able to deal any damage back to him because I'm crowd control. But you can basically just spin right there and damage him through the crowd control. Alright. You get another big, another big turret hit there, and I'm gonna proxy this next wave because I have training force with this wave. I'm running for my life. Might die for this. Oh my god, okay, well they literally have four top. Okay, even the Rakan was running up there. I guess they want the grubs. So, Rakan was top. Let's see, did they use anything? I mean, just not for mark. So the Jin ulted to uh, push the wave out so they want to dive him. But they just dove anyways. Okay, it's time to get a couple of fights for me dying. A little greed for Trinity Force. You know, I'm gonna say worth. We pulled a lot of pressure with that. I'm gonna walk in each one of these uh, bushes. See if he's uh, backing in of them. Definitely gonna stop his back. He does negative damage. He's just literally full tank right now. So if you use your E before you Q, you get the alter armor shred, uh, which could be pretty nice. I think I just died on here. Give me the next wave. Next wave's uh, not a cannon. First of many foes. See, we see Nocturne pop side. He's got Axiom Mark, so it's gonna like heavy damage. Sometimes you see like Nocturne do like a Bruiser setup. Not too chubby. Got 
That's how I insult with that. Oh, he's almost got me. He's gonna walk away. I don't want uh, Nocturne just ulting on me. You know, I might be able to kill Nocturne, even with this little HP, but I want to risk it. Let's kill Black Cleaver, since we're up against the tank. Got this and this. So, Black Cleaver. With my judgment, we're gonna be shredding a ton of armor. Oh my gosh, they sent a freaking squad on mid. Okay, so Rakan ulted, went on mid. Uh, Jin died again for him, him roaming. Forge onward. I am walking up. Sign, no, no way he backs out. Oh yeah, he, yeah. he's playing super greedy. I get a good amount of damage. If my ult was up, I actually go in there. Cancel my spin just to make sure I got the cannon. Uh, is that a sign TP? Oh, it looks like Echo. Oh, whoops. I accidentally got clipped by that. Well, they're all bottom, so. Man, I'm doing Scion things to the Scion. Oh, oh man. Oh, I thought they were all bottom. I'm so worth. I got the turret, and because he just sent everyone at me, we got Dragon. Yeah, this guy's down half, half my CS, and I've taken two of his turrets. He's in a real rough position. Speaking of rough position, that uh, Jin looks like he's having a good time. Okay, so it looks like they turned my death into Rift Herald. We turned uh, my death into um, Dragon and uh, killing the Jin again. So, this setup, I'm pretty sure we just killed the, uh, killed the sign all game. So, I got a couple different options. I can go a little bit tanky. Um, I can go, like, hybrid, tanky, and, uh, and damage with something like, uh, something like Sterix. I could just like focus on like just move speed. I got a lot of different builds I can go. It's not me. I was trying to auto the Rakan. Eh, hey, Rakan got the kill on me at least. Um, let's see. What actually is best? I think Sterix is probably best here. It's gonna give me a little bit tenacity too for the fear and Rakan charm, Jin W, stuff like that. Because I don't actually have any tenacity on my. Well, I actually have this. And this. And take that. We got a little bit tenacity. Doing a little bit of ignoring. Uh, this guy doesn't have boots. He has Hexplate, though, which gives him the speed he needs. Walk towards him. 
towards mid. He's got two items. He's pretty strong. Actually. They had a warden. Only way we could do it is if the, like, they didn't have a warden, we could look for a pick and stuff. This is a tanky Rakan. Oh, he has Thorn now. Okay, that makes sense. Spinning all over him. Oh, you need all. Also, it's a tank sound, so he does no damage, even in his passive form. Yeah, now we do Baron. Could contest potentially. That's, you know, I'm just gonna take a top turret or a top wave. That's a juicy wave top. I will not this world needs hope. I mean, we got me top and a couple people reset. They need to be careful of that dragon. In the king's name. Okay. I got my sterics. I'm gonna walk with the Senna over to dragon. Make sure Senna can deal damage. Because they might just turn and try to go on Senna here. I think yeah, I could flash auto ignite ulti the Rakan, but that's just not worth it. Could look for a pick first. Who's coming bot besides Sion, maybe? Maybe like Jin? I'm not sure. I don't think they have this worded. I want like Jin or Echo. Echo's looking top. For Demacia. Okay, Jin went mid. Maybe I kill Nocturne on these uh, Krugs when he comes from. Yeah, 
I think we go for this. He's like, okay, there's nothing mid. Let me go, uh, let me go farm these crook. Okay. You know what? I guess nobody cares about bot side. Nobody wants that juicy wave. They respect the Garen in the bush. We fight for those who cannot. I think unless they send all five of me, I don't die. Your team has destroyed a turret. Like the second I got him, yeah, I got my dog. Spun on. Got ignited. Your team has destroyed a turret. Our Let's see if I can build a Hecarim. I should back. I'm saying audible. And maybe still get mid turret. We got top wave crashing in two. He can look for burst, but uh, I'm pretty tanky. I've got a lot of HP. I've got Starks too. Okay, we deal with the echo problem. Now I can go mid. I'm sitting on literally 3400. Guess this is just the contest of how long can I stay out with, uh, you know, three thousand gold. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty rich. We got Mount Soul to get to. Let's see. Probably Stridebreaker. Just a second. Oh, actually, you know, I'm gonna advance. Probably slows. And we'll grab Wreck Truck's Destruction Move Speed. Uh, I believe this can be a last five, anyways. Hundred and eleven stacks, seven hundred tackling. That's some pretty good stacking. Let's go grab the Baron. It's free. I 
have a spin off for that fear. Yeah, I messed up that ward. Alright, I think we just go mid mid. Yeah, I feel like they should surrender a while ago. Someone is oxygen for sure. Alright guys, we're about to go into game four of the current video. You guys enjoyed this? Okay, they finally surrendered. Can we get double explosion? I think we got it. Alright guys, next game, game four. Can't wait to see you there. Hey everybody, back with another game. This time we're up against a Trindamere, of all things, in top lane. And, uh, of course, against Trindamere matchup, we got Phase Rush. In the King's name. And we got Ghost Flash, and we're going to be going into first item, Stridebreaker. So, biggest thing about this matchup is uh, understanding that uh, you need to short trade Trend in order to beat him. But he can force the extended trade, so that's why we take phase. That way we can uh, get out of a bad situation. So, we do have uh, bone plating. So, it does help us. Let's see. This guy's all two spike. He did shove the wave into us when he did that, so that was good. We gotta count how many crits he gets on us when he uh, spins in, because that will determine his uh, spin cooldown. Gonna make sure the wave doesn't crash all the way in. I got the wave right in front of my turret. It's exactly where I want it. So I wanna make sure it stays like right here. It'd be ideal. So even through my W, damn, he just uh, got a double crit on me. That's a little bit rough. This guy's Q, of course. Our needs shape the future. As long as we keep the wave right here, uh, our wave's gonna be in a perfect spot. So as you see, I'm like just consistently uh, motioning to get this uh, wave right there. And I'm actually up CS on, on the Trinmere. Like we play to go even uh, in this matchup. Don't play uh, don't play for the kill early unless it unless he just like really grieves it. And we play for the wave to be in right here. So he's just now trying to set up the freeze. Here's the thing. We have Ghost Flash to match his, and we have Phase Rush. So really hard for him to, like, really stick on us. First blood. It's like he got a little out of spin action. We're in a good spot, though. We play for all five here. So nearly going for a little chunk, but I'm okay with this. We can play for level six now. He can deny a few minions. I'm gonna wait for my Debbie to come back up before I walk up for minions. I can take the mini aggro if he walks up. Nice, but I'm playing saved us. An enemy has been slain. Be bold. Be just. Got a 
Kratos ghost. Okay, I'm assuming he was gonna hit six on that minion. Like, that's the only reason I could even possibly conceive that he just ran in like that. <laughs> yeah, he, he ran in. He was gonna hit six on that minion. And, uh, yeah, then rip. <laughs> Tragedy occurred. Alright, let's go towards Stridebreaker. Let's do this and this. And Tappy Stress matchup. Their team is literally all auto attackers. The Oswo. Or sorry, the Trinmere, the Oswo, the Kaisa, and the Camille with Hail Blades. Yeah, we're on Tabby's. Uh, like, I know Zerks is great for damage. But we're against a team of full auto attack. Like, even Nidalee autos quite a bit. Um, especially when Nidalee uses her, uh, her empowered, uh, her empowered Q on her melee form. An ally has been slain. Killing spree. Double kill. We fight for those who cannot. I didn't use my W there, so maybe it might be baited. In the king's name. Unstoppable. Nice. Really good center hold. Pog! Yeah, so the Trinmere wasn't keeping track of my W cooldown, which you have to if you're looking to die the Garen. And, uh, yeah, he got beat up. Always gotta be tracking your opponent's cooldowns. Just because I went in with my Q and E does not mean I use my W as well. I will not for Demacia. All right, getting out of here. An enemy has been slain. Let's see, what's Trimir going for, you guys think? Don't tell me he's going, oh. I mean, that could be Kraken, too. I really hope this guy isn't going to play the Rune King, or else he's going to have a bad time. An enemy has been slain. Double kill. Our deeds shape the future. His one HP. I was gonna auto then ulti, but I canceled the auto. I will fight as long as I stand. So you still here? I saw that he- oh, I missed the plate. I saw that he used to spin for a minion, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go get his ult. Never forget why we fight. Shame I missed the plate on the way back out, but that's what it is. Dominating. 
dominating. Double kill. Rampage. He's got no ults. I'm gonna ward back here. Me and my ult's gonna be back up before his. He's in a he's in a pretty tough position. Okay, he went up in the bush. Nice. I was able to phase out there too. That way, it didn't uh, take too much turret damage. Yeah, if you fall behind against a Garen as Trin, it's pretty bad because Garen could just stat check and especially if I have phase rush. Super bad time. <clears throat> Alright, I got Stridebreaker. It's gonna make it a really bad time for Trend. Cause now I can uh I can proc phase rush. With just auto Q spin, and then I have Stride Breaker as well to help kite the trend. And I have a lot more damage now. So now I can go into Trinity. And I'm gonna beat him up. An enemy has been slain. I know this matchup so well from the Trinmere side that, um. Never yeah, I, I just know everything the Trinmere can't do against me. Oh. Guys, kind of get a fogged ult in the comments below for uh, the Greater Oasis. Or the Greater Oasis. He uh, he did, in fact, have ulti and he missed it. Oh, this is a rough one for him. Let me see if I can't deny the uh, cannon. I just realized they have the same name. So it's a duo in the uh, in the top and jungle. I guess that explains why Nidalee was just uh, spam ganking me early. Right, now we go trending. Yeah, basically, if we get Trin's ult with our ult, that's super worth, because, you know, as long as we're able to get away from during assault, then we can still burst them. Uh, Garen's W, by being buffed, helped this matchup so much. Yeah, uh, Trimmer almost uh, traded back with that Grim there. That was a bit spooky. I will lead the charge. And my Senna is such a beast. Look at that. That's uh, that's my wife Emmy, by the way. She's a monster. She's beating up on uh, poor old uh, Kaisa Camille. An ally has been slain. Killing spree. Double kill. Well, that's an easy game. Well, there you go. That's how you beat Trinda's Garen. <laughs> oh, then. Alright, GG. Oh, can't even type it. Alright, onwards to the next one. Alright, y'all, we're back at it with another game. This time up against Riven with Ignite Flash. This time we went Conquer 
bone plating overgrowth because of course your rune stats with attack speed don't actually apply to your spin it's only from your items and from levels so let's see it looks like my buy starting a red buff all right always left click your opponent see where he starts honestly once we hit level three i think we just beat up the ribbon I have bone plating and he has sorcery. So I can do that trade and be A okay. In fact, I'm about to hit all two here and uh, trade in on them. Nice. Well, we got a pretty big leader for early. The fact that she went in and didn't burn my bone plating and just like full on trade into my bone plating just like lost her so much HP. Lost her her potion. So I'm gonna slow push this wave in. I'm gonna deny as much CS as possible on the way in. Then probably reset by boots. Okay. It's like uh, the Lily is discovering that her camps have been taken. Fear is the first of many foes. Never forget what we fight. It's like Lilia was pathing towards top. I think I'm okay going up for the, these minions. I don't want to take a random turret shot, but... Okay, yeah, we're good. We're 21-7. to 7. I missed on a couple minions of, uh, of gold, but I got the experience. And, of course, that's what matters. I'm walking in. Maybe I can get a roam towards mid. I'll just use ghost and flash there, I'm pretty sure. An ally has been slain. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything here. Nice. Kill one to Silas, and I use both sums. That kind of sucks. But you know what? It helps on my, it helps on my mid laner, so I'm okay with it. I'm still even CS with the uh, the ribbon, by the way. She's shoving me in. Alright, so against this game, you know, this game I'll probably just go to Zerks. I did not have bone plating there, but you know what? We force the Riven to stay. Uh, as soon as my W comes back up, I can fight. I'll have my W and then I'll have my bone plating up soon. Oh, I silence. I queued the minion. Still win the trade, but if I queued her, uh, maybe she's in death range. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna shut this wave in. I got my Zerkers in my base. I don't know how much we can do to Lilia. Ah, uh, Riven 6. I'm gonna shove the sway bin. It looks like Riven backed. Nice. Well, we got an extra wave. I'm gonna say worth. Made sure they don't get the, uh... This thing? I didn't mean to take the scuttler, but that's what it is. Um, this matchup probably is gonna go trendy. Do this and let me grab pink ward. I don't think I need potion. If I need a heal, I can just stay out of combat. Wait till my W comes up, and then with my W up, it's very hard for Riven to kill me. My W gives me 30% uh, damage reduction for 4 seconds. Plus a little bit of a shield. 98 HP shield, which is uh, pretty significant, by the way. <clears throat> we fight for those. 
We can get the one grub. Keep faith in yourself. An ally has been slain. Got the wave in a super good position. Wow, I didn't realize my ult could get canceled. That's kind of lame. I thought they fixed that. And made it so it couldn't get canceled. That's kind of lame. That guy was 100% dead. Cool. I think I can just proxy the Riven Binder turret. Gotta be a little bit careful here for him. Um... Yeah, it looks like Lily is top. This world needs hope. Okay, I was gonna proxy the wave, but she's right there, so gonna play a little bit safe. I'll shove the next wave and then reset. I'll bond her with the pink, she might go clear that. Alright, let me grab let me grab Phage. Let me grab this. Don't have enough for a pink. An ally has been slain. Oh man. Yeah, we're just clearing that. It's fine though. I could have gone and covered mid potentially. But I feel like I want to make sure Riven isn't going to eat plates. Yeah. I'm pretending I'm DC'd, by the way. No way that worked! Oh my god! <laughs> The way I kill her, she walks in. <laughs> okay, that was epic. Holy shit. <laughs> the freaking fake DC play. Oh my gosh. I haven't been able to do that one in a while. That's, uh, that one's been a couple years since that one's, uh, legitimately worked like that, like, that effectively. <clears throat> Both sums from mid. I got enough for a pink ward here. Okay, that being said, Riven's Flash is gonna come up for mine. Let's see. I did not track her Flash, did I? Okay. Damn. Well, her Flash is, like, two and a half minutes. I'm gonna assume somewhere after the 12 minute mark she's gonna have it up. I bring justice. Alright, that ribbon's having a bad day. She went to ward on my pink, right at... <laughs> oh, man. We, uh, I like to call the Riven the Cockroach the top lane, because, uh, you gotta squash him. Gotta squash it before it becomes an infestation. That is a rough situation.
Okay. I mean, my bot lane's giga far ahead again. What we do is right. Nice, uh, the cannon. That's one fit of Lilia. The cursed villains. Gonna flash. Not to hurt again, me. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna shut this shit in. I got Trinity Force in base. Maybe she'll think I'll. You know, I can actually dive her, right? She has no flash. Okay, first blood turret bottom, and they got fame killed? Oh my god. Okay, if Ribbon is coming in here with no cues. Protect our land. Yeah, she got it. You know what? That's a lot of denied minions for the Riven. And because I proxied the wave as as well as killing the Riven, I'm gonna say worth. Alright, let's do let's do shred next. I'll help a stick. <laughs> Silas can use Lux R and move? Is that what I just saw? What the hell? Nice. Okay, not bad. Yo, what is happening with these minions? Wait, I don't understand. No one was at the wave, and one of the minions just left the others. Oh my god, Riven is having a bad game. Your team has destroyed a turret. Your team has destroyed a turret. God, my sound. It breaks at the worst times. This world needs hope. I definitely should have gone out of there. I'm getting jibated. Oh? Nice. Okay, I mean, end up situations being pretty good. I gotta deal with a Vayne later in the game. God, they've got two people with Ghost Flash. They have three ghosts on their team. I took Ignite for lane, and outside of lane, it's gonna feel pretty bad. Ghost definitely scales better. But uh, I have the Ignite versus Riven just to like make sure I execute her. It gives me so much more pressure.
never forget why we fight. That oh, Lilia can cut us out pretty well. Let's see, we need six or four hundred more for stride. Oh, I was gonna sit around the corner in the fog of war. Try to get some damage on Lilia. She went at Lee Andrews first, not Rylai's. So that's always good for us. For me to kill Riven, she basically has to face check me. Man. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I think she respected my damage there. Um, is she trying to freeze us or what? I've got my empowered recall. I got stride. Okay, it looks like it's a freeze for the Lux. Maybe they're sending Riven mid. I'm heading towards the uh, dragon. Is top, no TP. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my no, that's the exhaust. in this bush and if they chase after oh. all right well that vein got taught a lesson this senna is a fucking beast this senna aka my wife emmy all right let's do this i'm gonna go pd next just so the move speed i'm getting kited way too hard I got my flash in. We could just do Baron. Uh oh. That looks as damage. To protect our land. Fight for those who cannot. Let me look for a pick. They don't have a warden here, otherwise Amelia would turn around. So saw us running into our bush, but
Your turret has been destroyed. I think my Santa smells uh smells the ribbon. Asalus has no TP, he should just start heading up. Shit, we had to fucking kite that out, but finally got the lux. <clears throat> Alright, we get Mount Soul, we win the game. Before the lux becomes too enormous. Um, probably, it's either Sterex for its tenacity or Dead Man's for slow resist. I'm kind of down for. Wait, this guy still doesn't have Rylies? I bring justice. Alright, if Lily had Rylize, then this game's way harder for us, but thank god she forgot the item. They even contest Mountain Soul. I guess they really couldn't. Their death timers were really little times. We seen go five for this. turret we just siege everything I wonder if there's an interaction of Silas and Lux both laser each other at the same time wow that pain does zero damage like I don't have Ron's got ghost. I'm so sad I don't have ghost. Should be easy peasy. Oh my god. Is that our support just like almost one shot their jungler? Wow, he lives. Well, Lily is one. We get to do it right now. been there.
Let's see if Ribbon or someone else comes to us wave. They don't have any vision here, otherwise the minions who have run towards me. This world needs hope. Uh it's red up. Oh nice red is up. Red buff and I've got uh, my passive. guys i'll see you in the next one all right guys back at it again with another garen game this time up against udir in the top lane i took him flinching because grasp udir with Doran string i'm thinking might be a um a french case where unflinching is actually good since the rework since unflinching gives you bonus armor and magic resist when you're crowd controlled and they literally have anivia udir tom kench uh vegar they have uh they have just uh, a bunch of CC. So yeah, look at that. So I just, uh, every time he presses R, I'm technically crowd controlled by his slow, and so I'm getting an extra uh, armor and MR. Something on flinching is probably the best possible rune against Udyr. Um, it's only two armor and MR early, but it scales up to 10 armor and master resist, scaling with level, so. Gonna try to set up these uh, minions so I can see us. Oh, I could have canceled that spin. I well, he only got seven CS, and I got eleven. Me Q out of this uh, ulti. So one thing about Udir is he will run Um quite often. Um, he did not run Presence of Mind, so. Alright, Udyr is like literally sprinting for Sublani. Okay, I, I pinged as much as possible. Looks like they're literally all heading over to uh, Sublani's camp. This is what it is. My wave's in too good of a spot, and like I know they're on their way. But yeah, the candle's looking to cheese. The, the Sujuani's actually really far ahead. The Sujuani got the red buff. The king literally did, I think, topside and went to invade, and he's literally two camps down, Sejuani. Super huge. Sejuani just hit Scuttle Crab. I'm gonna go. And yeah, I maybe Kane does Krugs and it goes, goes top lane, but actually really good. But yeah, I saw that Uder just like literally leaves the wave in the most terrible spot possible. And I was like, okay, he's, he's going. He's going to do something stupid. Got the wave in a really good spot. Okay, I'm splashing for it. So, I wonder how much damage did I just reduce? Because I'm thinking it's not going to be 4 armor and MR. Uh, that's really good. Be a little bit careful here. I don't have Debbie before he's coming back. It looks like he's going. Oh, another AP item. Ally has 
Okay, as long as I have my W up, I can trade pretty decently. Uh, wait, this guy has no HP. Maybe I can sneak back in here. Okay, um, he got fogged. That's all I'm gonna say. He walked in the bush to drop the aggro, and then I walked in there. He's probably so confused. He's like, wait, how the hell did Garen get in there? Okay, let's see. Did I just go Swifties against... You know, I'm just gonna go... Since I'm ahead, I'm gonna go Greaves. And also, I'm gonna go uh, Trinity Force. I'm gonna grab Sheen. So, I'll probably lead with my E to cleave his armor and then end with my Q to kind of maximize my damage here. Oh man, got some good poke bottom. I bring justice. Uh, Kane's on grubs right now, I don't think. At least I don't see in the fog of war. I'm about to go check. If he's here, I uh, just blast him. Okay, it's not. Okay, it looks like he had a ward or something, because, uh, looks like the Uder was, like, typing or something. Uh, they're not in grubs yet. He's gonna shut this in. Gonna eight click the bush in case Uder's in here. Okay. I mean they are trolling doing that when Uder stop. Uders top by covering the wave. They were, I literally was on vision walking over there, and they just stayed when the cane had no health or mana. Okay. You know, I do have Conqueror. Nice. Just because I have Conqueror, I was like, okay, I'm staying in there. I was really close. Only because uh, on my on the first like spin I did, he basically tanked the entire spin with that shield. Keep faith in yourself. But uh, yeah, end up being pretty good. Got the kill, and wow, look at this: sixty-nine seconds of the MR and match resist, and it's at five armor and MR right now. That's pretty good. Has been slain. And it scales up to ten. Be bold. Okay, not too shabby. The Vagar and Tom Kench bottom, just full on CC. Looks like it's gonna be tank Tom Kench too. Okay, he's pretty low. healing there. Um, should I look for a 1v2? I'm gonna play back into here. There's no way he goes after me legit, right? I tried to kill Kane, but he flashed away. Yeah, I was I was really questioning whether they would uh, be so stupid as to try to gank me there, and uh, turns out they really are. Okay, 
And if you're still mid, I mean, unless Vagar is running me, there is no one top. Okay, minions should finish off the rest of that, so I can just reset. As long as you damage the turret within the last, like, 8 seconds, you'll be able to get that. Um, I'm gonna wait 20 gold for Trinity Force, because it is literally so worth. Trinity Force gives me so much damage. Yeah, he spent a lot of money on early game stuff. Fear is the first of many foes. He's got, uh... What is he building with the dagger? The, he's got dark seal, he's got a little bit of AP. Maybe he's going, like, full AP. I'm not sure. I might be a mistake. He might have to build some, uh, some armor. He bought a glowing moat. I believe he's going Nashor's Tooth, and that's gonna be the biggest mistake. So I'm about to just one-shot him. I almost just killed him. If I had ulti, he died. Honestly, if he has ulti, he dies off of one combo, no matter what. He has to basically do it an empowered uh, W in order to live. Alright, I have Trinity Force, so I'm just gonna go ahead and beat this right now. Okay, he does an empowered Q there. Let's see here. An ally has been slain. So Tomkins TP. Forge onward. Not sure where Uter is. He's just sitting back there. Thought he might walk up to the wave. Spray. Nice. Yeah, I mean, if I keep this the way the way it is right now, we're good. Pretty sure I can ignore Eater and just hit his turret. Rampage. Yeah, I don't know where Eater went. If it comes here, I'm gonna just sprint at him. Actually, Uder is going the bottom. He literally walked all the way bottom. Lane. Also, his cane does no damage. <laughs> don't, I don't even have to W, and he just doesn't do enough damage. Their Nipia's got good CS, but honestly, so is Oriana. I like Oriana better. This cane is having a pretty rough time. I'm not sure if he's tilted from from the grub situation or what, but yeah, he's not having it. Looks like Senna and he's popping off again. Oh my God, the stun! Stop the auto. Okay, I think Meteor might be done the top lane. He's had the he's had the full Garen experience. I'm just breaching. I mean, they could send a Nivea top at me, like legitimately, and then that's like a good swap. Because what can a Garen do to a Nivea? I can never stick. Okay, Krebs just went away. I was gonna take Krebs, but yeah, that's 14 minutes. I'm gonna get Dead Man's second item because they literally have so much freaking slows. I did take the slow resist uh, broom, by the way, for this game. I didn't take Phase Rush because I wanted the Conqueror for leaning phase. And their team is pretty tanky overall. Like, even Indivia is really tanky. Never forget why we fight. Uh oh, bot lane's can't get mid. I will not falter! I think the Orion is out. Unless we got bottom lane. Fear not. I'm 
Oh my gosh, I was gonna auto Q the cannon, but I just killed it from half HP. I mean, I've got both these turrets up top, so I can legitimately just um, take all the jungle camps in between these waves. It's gonna cut the camp over here towards the next wave. Well, maybe it's down there. I'm just gonna go take into the turret. Yeah, they legitimately have their full team there, and we still got Dragon. What are they doing? I don't want to take Inhib because it's literally only 15 minutes and the Anivia can clear supers all day long and just get Giga farms. Uh, I'm gonna build Sterix next just for the tenacity. What we do is right. I'm gonna go just split bot and just take all their bot turrets. I'm not even gonna build Stridebreaker this game. The targets I'm legitimately gonna be able to hit is gonna be like Tom Kench, Kane, and Adir. If I try to go after Vagar and Anivia, I'm going to get so kited no matter what. Unless, you know, I come in from a flank. In which case, Trinity Force is literally enough damage to kill him anyways. I mean, honestly, we got good poke and siege. We have Senna, Velkos, Oriana with uh, Sejuani frontline. Team do work, men. Yeah, I literally couldn't kill her egg. Yeah, well, she got eggs and I got her flashback anyway, so. Alright. <laughs> wow, I did got out. I had to space the Vagar W so carefully without hitting, running into his wall. But, uh, yeah, we got out. Sick. I'm just glad I didn't even miss, like, I didn't miss the wall because my miss speed is too high. Honestly, she should put it, like, right on top of herself. Our deeds take the future. Tom Kench wants to eat? Oh, man. Shut down. Gotta spit out right into the, the Vagar queue. I believe Vagar you saw on me bottom. I could be wrong. Okay, we are just breaching every turret possible. My base stats with unflinching is actually ridiculous. My flinching has almost 100% uptime. <laughs> it's been uptime for two minutes this game. So every time I'm in an Anivia R, Udyr R, whatever, is just broken. I will not falter. We fight for those who cannot. Okay, I think it's about that time we take the inhib. Dragon's coming up, and they can't stop me from taking it. I don't have uh, songs. So, I'm careful of the full goon squad coming at me.
Yeah, I think I just split. If I had some subgroup. So, funny little mechanic is if uh, the Tom Kench eats me and I'm spinning, I will literally spin inside his stomach and can kill him. Okay, they got the turret, but we should be able to get the dragon. They have two top and their jungler is dead. Alright, GG's. Alright, there we go. We basically force Sudir out of the lane and uh and carry the game all right i'll see you in the next one it's gonna be a long movie